Good morning, this is Pastor Jamie coming to you with our daily devotional Word in Season Summer Edition written by Jesus Harold Hanks. Today's title is Faithful in the Little Things. We'll be reading from Matthew 25 and 21. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. In the early days of America, we had what were known as apprenticeships. A young man would start at the bottom and work his way up the ladder by learning under someone who was older, wiser, smarter than he was. That was the norm. Today, very few people want to start at the bottom. They sometimes leave college or graduate school and expect to be given the corner office. That rarely works out well. Most of them have little to no experience, and without that, they cannot make quality decisions. Sometimes it's just better to start at the bottom. Joseph did. Joseph entered into a strange land, Egypt, as a teenage slave, but eventually became the prime minister of Egypt. How did he accomplish such a feat? He accomplished such a feat because of his faithfulness of two lesser jobs. First, he was faithful overseer of Potiphar's house. He did an excellent job of running Potiphar's house. Genesis 39, 4 tells us, And Joseph found grace in his sight, he served him, and he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. Verse 6 says, And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. He did an excellent job at what he was asked to do. Not only did he do an excellent job, but he did it with a great attitude. Notice it said, And Joseph was a goodly person. The word goodly has two meanings. It means first, handsome, and second, pleasant. He must have been a very handsome young man, but real beauty is not what you look like, but what you are like in your heart. Joseph had a good heart. He was pleasant, or in other words, he had a good attitude. Remember, he was hated by his jealous brothers, and he had been sold by those jealous brothers to a stranger from Egypt. And he was made a slave in the house of this stranger. And what did Joseph do? He did his job so well and with such great attitude that Potiphar recognized his abilities and made him head over his house. As Christians, we should show up on time with a pleasant attitude and work harder than all of our fellow employees. Second, he was faithful, a faithful warden in the prison. He was incarcerated because of a lie that Potiphar's wife told him on him. And for 13 years, he was locked up in the prison for a crime he did not commit. But again, his faithfulness and pleasant attitude made all the difference in the world. He rose to become the warden of the prison. He was faithful in performing his duties even when he never should have been there. And his faithfulness and pleasant attitude paid off handsomely. One day, he went from prisoner to prime minister of the greatest nation on earth at that time. He had been faithful in a few little things, and God made him ruler over many big things. That's what Jesus was trying to tell us when he said, Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. David Jeremiah put it well when he said, Let God be responsible for your promotion while you are responsible for for your faithfulness. Faithfulness in the little things leads to responsibility for many things. Go and be faithful today, even in the little things, and one day you'll be glad you were. When faithfulness is most difficult, it's most necessary. Father, we love you today and thank you for your faithfulness, first of all. God, you've been you've been good to us, God. You've been that faithful companion, that faithful guide and direction in our lives lord we too want to be found faithful and i pray god that you touch the listeners today they will too be faithful in everything no matter how small it may seem they'll show up and be faithful and be a good example and be an ambassador of christ and i just pray god that you keep your hand upon us throughout this day help us and guide us in our efforts to be a pleasing servant of jesus christ And I ask you to do all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.